a lot of information, obviously, at this point right now, but uh, we got the call approximately 3.50 this morning, uh, report of smoke coming from the building here on Main Street. Uh, this is the 100 block of East Main Street. Uh, when we arrived on the scene, we found that there was fairly heavy smoke coming from the, be the southeast corner of the building. As we set up, we sent a crew into the interior. The smoke was uh, heaviest on the second floor. We sent a crew into the interior, and they were forced to back out immediately due to high heat and uh, zero visibility conditions. At that point, the fire became strictly defensive. Uh, we called in help immediately. Uh, first responding help was from District 12 out of Coleman. Uh, sent an engine and an additional vehicle. Uh, when it became apparent that it was going to be a strictly defensive fire all the way through, we had uh, the city of Pullman sent over an ambulance and also their tower ladder truck uh, to help us keep the fire from spreading down the block. Uh, additionally, we had uh, multiple units from the Colfax Fire Department here as well. Uh, you know, obviously, at this point, we have no idea what the cause of the fire was. Uh, we're obviously going to be here for a long time, getting the hot spots taken care of. At this point, it appears that the fire was limited strictly to the building of origin. Uh, we're going to limit access to the uh, structures on the block until we get some confirmation that we don't have any structural issues or any possible health concerns that we need to worry about for the residents and the business owners. At this point, we're not aware that we've suffered any injuries to any of the citizens or to any of our firefighters. Uh, you know, we just want to thank the community at this point. The awesome thing about these small towns is that everybody mobilizes when something like this happens. I mean, we've got people handing out sandwiches and coffee and, uh, you know, and this is a terrible thing for the community. The restaurant in that building just opened last night. The gentleman that owns it had put a tremendous amount of work into it, and uh, I was lucky enough to be there last night. They had a great turnout, a lot of excitement about having that in town, and uh, so it's going to be a tough blow for the community. But uh, at this point, the beauty of this small town, uh, Blues, probably every well, small town, is that people pull together and they'll uh, you know, they'll find a way to get everybody through it. All the time. Hopefully, something can come out of it positive in the end as far as a new building or something. So, Some people were saying that it was actually supposed to open tonight, like the grand opening? Yeah, they actually, I guess they called it a soft opening last night, but uh, it was it was a full house. And people really seemed to be enjoying it. It was, you know, great atmosphere for, for a small town. Tell us a little bit about the building. Yeah, what was the life of those walls? Uh, the building itself was a two-story brick building. Uh, I couldn't tell you what the date of construction, but obviously one of the older buildings in town here. Uh, when it came down, I mean, it's frightening, obviously. Uh, we, once we knew that we were totally defensive on the fire, we made sure that our crews were pulled back and the vehicles were pulled back. Uh, but there's nothing that can really quite describe what that's like when it comes down. I mean, it's a uh, loud bang and you know, the fire flames up and it's uh, it's the scariest thing you can imagine at that point in the can fire. Can you elaborate on that? Just describe the scene since we weren't here to see it. Just how high the flames were, the sounds that you heard. Um, you know, the, when we first got here, obviously, with these older brick buildings, there was no flame when we got here, but there was heavy smoke uh, pushing out through the bricks, around the windows, all that kind of stuff. And once we determined that we weren't able to put our people inside for safety's sake, uh, we ventilated a window on the southeast corner of the building and put a high volume line in the window to try to cool the second floor down. Uh, at that point, probably within five to ten minutes, it had progressed to the point where we had flames through the roof. Um, and then the biggest concern at that point was are we going to be able to maintain the fire in the fire building or is it going to spread? And for a while there was uh, quite a bit of concern that we were going to have spread, but 
uh, between the lines that we were able to place from the street onto the roof and then with the assistance of Coleman's tower ladder truck, we were able to push that back and make sure that everything stayed in the original fire building. Walk me through the collapse. What was that? What happened there? Uh, when the, you know, when the collapse happens, I guess you start to see signs that things are going to happen. The smoke's getting heavier and blacker and the whole scene just starts to get nastier and you do start to hear things popping and cracking and uh, I don't know if you can ever determine exactly when it's going to happen, but there are certainly signs where things just start to look out of place. And, uh, like I said, when we positioned our vehicles initially, that was one of the first thoughts, is making sure that we were back out of the potential collapse. Zone. 